brand new Clash Royale video. My name is Micah, aka Ducky, and today I have the second part of the video where I show all of the cards that you can only get for certain arenas. So last one I did a video about cards you can only get in training camp and Goblin Stadium. But unfortunately it didn't get published, so I'm just going to do a new one, starting from Bone Pit, I guess. So these are cards you can only get in Bone Pit, it's a giant skeleton deck. It also works with the balloon, so I'm going to be two battles, doing two battles with this and two battles with the balloon. So let's hop into our very first battle and see what we can accomplish with this. And also, I did get a new mic, so tell me if you think it sounds better. It just arrived this morning, so I don't know, I think it's pretty cool. Okay, so he has the executioner, I'm gonna wait for that to lock onto the tower and surround it with their minions. It did kill one, so it's kind of disappointing. But there is a valve that is going to tank for those, for the goblins for a bit, kind of. Oh, actually pretty decent damage on that side. I'm going to have to use skeletons to distract here. And then a valkyrie to kill all of that. And then a knight just to minimize damage. But because these decks are pretty low, they're not the greatest, but for lower down, they definitely are quite useful. So I'm going to see if he plays anything else so I can lighten everything. Okay, looks like I'll just get the wizard. Almost got the lumberjack, but it is going to do some work on my tower because I didn't have anything to distract. His execution is going to clean all that up really easily. And right now, we have a bit of chip damage done on that right tower, but he has pretty good damage otherwise. We're gonna go with a giant skeleton here. And Knight, because that giant does do quite a bit of damage for its health. It's kind of unexpected. The giant skeleton will not get to the tower. I'm gonna wait to see if there's anything else I can lightning. Oh, perfect, a prince in there. So that's a really good value lightning spell. And I will do a Valkyrie to clean up the rest. And because I have a Valkyrie, I can do a skeleton on me. He is gonna play that lumberjack, so my giant skeleton will also kill that. I'm gonna get ready to lightning. His executioner. Hopefully, all oh, my skeletons are gonna die. And he did tornado that, so fairly even. I do have a goblin barrel that I'm gonna play right now. And the knight and the, the, the um, Valkyrie. Oh, and it did get taken out, so that is beautiful. And that is GG. First battle, a very close but yet still a victory against that guy that I can't read. So this is a pretty decent deck. You can get some good chip damage with that Goblin Barrel. It is actually a very good card for only unlocking in the Goblin Arena. And the Giant Skeleton is just really annoying to attack against or defend against. I'll start off with another Valkyrie close to the back, and because he just played that giant, uh, why not? I'll go with the quick goblin barrel there. See what he does. Okay, I'm actually gonna lightning all that now. He's gonna be forced to play a fireball, which means I can do skeletons and a knight actually on that. Yeah, good thing I didn't do minions. So this giant will get a couple swings. I'll do minions to clean up that skeleton army. Worked out pretty well. 
And then those minions are gonna get a big chip damage unless he plays something against them. And he's also gonna be able to be forced to play a Valkyrie on that. So that is pretty good as well. Oh. Oops. Okay, that was a bit of a slip up on the giant skeleton. Still worked though. And I'm gonna get ready to do a lightning spell because he's probably gonna play a witch to defend against that. Oh. Guess giant worked out well for him. And now he's gonna have a pretty good push coming this way. Unless the witch will get killed, hopefully the witch can get taken down by that. Yes, it did. So I'm gonna arrow all that down. And then do a Valkyrie to help clean up that giant. He's gonna zap that one skeleton, odd play. So now I can do a goblin barrel while the tower is distracted by that Valkyrie and get a pretty good amount of damage. Might even be able to take the tower down. Maybe, maybe. Oh, it's coming, oh, so close. Almost no health left on that tower. I'll do a giant skeleton to kill off that now. And some minions. So I want to take as little damage as possible. Ooh, my skeleton's also going to die there. The giant will take down my tower. I think arrow should be able to kill it. Yes, I will arrow all that. And I do have an, a, a bit of a lead on that right tower as well. I'm going to save for a lightning there. He's going to do a skeleton army. Hopefully my minions can clear that fast enough. No, he's going to zap them so they will not make it there in time. But actually the tower is distracted by that knight, so the minions are going to do a bit of work. And now elite barbarians. I'm just going to do a Valkyrie there. And if I want to, I could just keep lightning in. Lightning in. That tower. Valkyrie will stay behind, and I'm actually going to completely ignore that, do that, and arrow it on his skeleton army, and <laughs> the skeletons actually survived because it was the end of the match, but that is another victory with this deck, so a really good deck actually for being this high up, we have two wins in a row, and I've done two with this, so I'm going to switch it out for the other one I had ready to use, which was the balloon instead of giant skeleton. So let's go ahead and see if we can make something out of this. It is definitely a, a lot easier having this microphone right next to my face so I don't have to yell so loud. It is much more comfortable and just overall it gives better sound quality, I think. Skeleton, hopefully the Valkyrie will turn around. No, the Valkyrie's not gonna turn around. So I'm gonna take huge damage from those elite barbarians. And I guess I will have to go for that instead of those fire spears. I'd love to take that that furnace out. Oh wait, my tower can actually one-shot them, so that's great. I don't have to worry about them actually. I'll do a goblin barrel because it's distracted by that knight. He's also having a giant skeleton. So I'm gonna do a Valkyrie. That's gonna soak up all that fire spirit damage. And take out that giant skeleton with a help a little bit of help from those skeletons. I'll wait for that ice wizard to get a bit closer, there we go. And then the minions will take that down out pretty easily. And I'll actually go with the quick balloon on the right side. He might do elite barbarians on the left side, nope. Ooh, I'm gonna wait for the wizard to walk right into that lightning spell. Yes, and that was a great value lightning spell. Took out completely, I completely took out everything. And so far it's been pretty even. Not really varying to either side. I am going to have to say the Valkyrie for his elite barbarians. And then play a knight as well. 
and the skeletons will also do a bit of work to that. I don't want that giant skeleton to hit, so I will play that. And the blue will get there to get one hit. So, as long as I can keep defending this, I will lightning all that. And only one more lightning spell, and that right tower will be done. I'm actually going to goblin barrel that. Do a Valkyrie to extract. Another knight just in case. And that is another victory with this deck. It is substituted a bit, but the basic idea is the same thing, and it's actually a really good deck. I don't know about you guys. You guys can definitely try this out. Very easy cards to obtain, and I'll go ahead and open up this crown chest now. And pretty basic stuff. I like the goblin gang and the dark goblin, because in the goblin gang, I finally got to level 8. And the Dark Goblin here, I'm going to try and level up to at least level 6 before I start using it. So let's get into our last battle here. Hopefully we can get 4 in a row, because that would just be amazing. And finally a name we could read, Amuts, Amuts from Fusion, Mexico. And let's see, okay, another guy with a furnace. So I'm actually going to throw a goblin barrel to try and make him play something and now lightning everything. Okay, minions. I guess I'll take that. The hog rider is going to do quite a bit of work. I'm going to have to use skeletons as well as a Valkyrie. I'll arrow down all that. And... Uh, nearly even trade off. I have a bit more damage on that left side than he does on my right side. And he got a couple hits from something on that left side. But because those fire spirits are only level 8, my tower can one shot them, so I don't have to worry about that as much as like if they were level 9 or level 10. Because then every time they get a couple swings, but I'm just going to lightning all that now. Because lightning is actually a very annoying card if you play against it. Because it just completely destroys everything that's in there. And arrows, not as used card higher up, just because the zap is a bit more effective. But I don't think you unlock that until Spell Valley, so I can't use it for quite a few videos. I'm actually going to go on the left side to see if I can lightning stuff again. Boom. I'll do a knight up to the side to minimize that minion damage. Because level 10 minions actually do a bit of work if you let them go free. I'm actually going to let that go because I want to save up for a balloon. So I wait for that Valkyrie to go a bit higher up and those fire spirits to go away. Then I'll do that, save up for a lightning spell, and then lightning all of that. Minions did actually get quite a bit done. I will have to air here just to get rid of minions. And, oh we might lose this tower, yes we did lose that first tower because of that hog rider. We'll just have to push really hard. Hopefully we don't end on a loss because we did pretty good. And no, the balloon's going to go all the way around. So that is GG. Did get our first loss, but three wins, one loss. I'm definitely okay with that. I am still trying to push back up to Hog Mountain so I can keep leveling up my heal spell as well as my other cards. Only... 3,000 is needed, I'm just under, or just over 100 away for getting to Hog Mountain, but that's all the time we have for today, thanks for watching, watching, and next video I will be taking a break from this little series I've started, 
to look at the brand new update for Clash of Clans. I think it is really cool. I've only played it for a couple minutes, but I just love it. So I'll show you guys. Stay tuned and see you next time.